who's at six. Sparrow's ER is getting overwhelmed with patients, and tonight hospital officials are pleading for your help. It's our top story at six. Thanks for joining us. I'm Siobhan Klepfer. Sherry and Lauren are off tonight. Sparrow Hospital officials say the high rate of emergency room visits comes at a time when they are already facing high cases of respiratory illnesses in kids and adults. And tonight, something needs to be done. Josh Sanchez is here for you now with more. Siobhan, Sparrow's interim president tells me while those respiratory illnesses have plateaued recently, it's still putting a strain on their ER teams. He says both the general pediatric and pediatric ICU are nearing capacity. Officials say an estimated 70% of the 34 children in the pediatric emergency department or waiting to be admitted are suffering from respiratory illnesses. Nearly all are RSV cases. For adults, Chief Medical Officer Dr. Denny Martin says he thinks most of those cases stem from Thanksgiving travel. He says his staff know that the hospital is used for convenience at times, but ask that you contact your primary care doctor or an urgent care clinic first if your symptoms are not life-threatening. To get the acuity or the severity of illness to the right location of care and, and really to protect our you know, level one trauma center. We can certainly take care of all those other illnesses, but um, to protect the resources, the staffing, the equipment, the room availability. Um, we need to make sure that we have, you know, immediate access to our emergency department here in Lansing for those illnesses, and and we can provide great care in all of our community emergency departments like OCMS or walk-in clinics. And Dr. Martin says while respiratory illness illness cases are high, he reminds people to get their flu shots and COVID boosters to get as much protection as possible. Siobhan. All right, thank you, Josh. 